My next guest is a holistic wellness and healthy living expert. She also is a board-certified family physician and integrated medicine consultant. Please welcome Morehouse School of Medicine grad and CEO <laughs> of Mind, Body, Spirit Wellness, Dr. Maisha Claiborne. Welcome to the show, Doc. Hey, how are you? How are you today? I am fantastic. I am excited about having you on the show because you have an outstanding karma and disposition about yourself. So thank you for hanging out with us. Thank you for having me. Now, Doc, we're going to dive in because, of course, i got to ask you these 6,000 questions here. Uh, <laughs> I'm really... He really big in my own in my old age on holistic alternatives and living as healthy as I can. But how can we get younger people to look into caring what they do to their bodies before it's way too late? Yeah, you know, it's, it's such a great question. And I have to say the theme of the show really has been about prevention from um the theme of, of, of college planning to to a molestation. So I, I I like this theme of, of prevention. I think that the thing that is going to have young people um, get really get conscious is by making it fun, making it exciting, making um, eating healthy taste good, and making and keeping it simple. And and quite honestly, I really do think that our younger generation is getting more conscious uh, quicker than our middle-aged and older generation uh, because, you know, we're, we're, we we grew up a certain way. And I don't know about you, but I grew up in the South. I grew up in Huntsville, Alabama. And so, you know, you grew up a certain way and, and you're, you're using ham hocks and, and turkey legs and all of these different things and uh, pork, eating fried chicken and pork chops. And at least, that's, you know, that's how we did it in the South <laughs> in Alabama. And, and so I really had to recreate. Uh, and I, I'm, we used to flavor. I mean, I'm so used to flavor. So I had to recreate how to make healthy food taste good. And so when I coach my clients on transitioning to a healthier diet, it's all about keeping it simple, keeping it tasty, and uh, keep, keeping it efficient, quite frankly, because, you know, the, the generations coming up are coming into this, this sort of uh, corporate America, you know, do it fast and have it now society. So I, I like to say, okay, well, you can you can make this tasty, healthy meal in less than 30 minutes. Hey, well, let me, you know, natural progression into from that question is obesity among our kids is now, you know, what, epidemic, to say the least. What are some Absolutely. of the remedies you'd recommend for parents out there to start, uh, you know, focusing on? Well, you know, in terms of, of, of childhood obesity prevention, it really – boils down to lifestyle. Again, just keeping it simple. So, you know, one of the things that's happening is there's a lot of the, the, the physical education that's getting taken out of some schools and the the, the video games are, are taking over outside play. I mean when I was a when I was a kid we used to ride the bike um ride the bikes and climb into trees and, you know, run outside and play and now for whatever reason, that's just not happening as much. So I encourage parents to to get their children involved in physical activities at a younger age. You know, any sport or dance um, is is adequate. I mean, just or just going outside and, and play, allowing your your children to play and play with your children. Because when you talk about you know children, they're modeling, they're modeling their parents. And so if you know you're if you're a parent and you're you're sitting on the couch and eating, you know, fatty foods, what do you think your children are going to learn to do? You can't tell them eat healthy and exercise and then not be doing the same thing. So parents um, want to be a model to the children. And, and, and you know, in terms of food, I mean, when I was a child, I used to take my lunch to school. And, and when I really got, you know, when I started writing the book, Eat Your Disease Away, and I started to really look at different tips of keeping it simple, it was take your lunch to school. Let fix your fix your um your children's lunch. Let them fix their own lunch. Because then again, you're teaching them how to make healthy healthy fun meals by themselves, and that message will carry on 